Hello everyone. Today's topic for the session is metasploit in a nutshell. I'm Sorsha. I'm currently studying at Paral University pursuing computer science in fourth year. So have any ever heard about metasploit framework? Yeah, we have heard about it. We have sometimes work also it. So let us brief me. Metasploit is a framework that provides the infrastructure needed to automate your routine task. Yeah, it provides it has a multiple modules in a single tool which helps us to automate our task like scanning, information gathering and exploiting. It helps us to stay focused on important aspects of penetration testing and find flaws in a security program. Yeah, uh, if all the modules are under a, under one roof, so you can be focused on a single machine and you cannot get deviated from the path of exploiting. Metasploit allows us to build attacks vectors to augment its exploits, payloads, encoders, etc. Yeah, Metasploit helps us to uh, add an exploit, also build our own exploits and payloads and encoders in it. So let us understand the Metasploit architecture. What is, um, see, um, in Metasploit framework, all modules are Ruby classes modules inherit from the type specific class the type specific class inherits from the msf module class there is a shared common api between modules so metasploit architecture consists of five uh, modules there are auxiliary encoders exploits non operations payloads it also um, it also has a ui interface which provides us to be interactive between like how the tool can be interactive with the person using it it has plugins and the main comes is msf co which helps us to which performs the most backend part so what are metasploit interfaces as we have as i told you in the previous slide it is helps us to interact between the user and the so there are three types msf console msf cli and armitage so what is msf cli the MSF CLI provides a powerful command line interface to the framework. This allows you to easily add Metasploit exploits into any scripts you may create. The MSF console, it provides an interactive way to access all features in user-friendly manner. So it is a console like uh, we use in command line. Okay, yeah, we can say it. And Armitage, it's a GUI version of Metasploit framework. What is a payload? A payload is a system to execute that is to be selected and delivered by the framework. A bind shell, bind shell is a payload which binds a command prompt to a listening port on the target machine which an attacker then connect. Like it's a file which we uh, deploy on the uh, attacking machine so that we can get uh, we can get a reverse bind shell or a metabolite session has been opened so that we can interact with the machine and get the we can use some commands like pwd and which uh, what's the user we can get be the root user through payload escalation when we exploit a program the payload will be the new task running once we control the execution there are three types of payloads singles stage and stages singles are very small and designed to create some kind of ex communication then move to the next stage for example just creating a user so like if we are exploiting a windows machine and we are not the administrator or we don't have the administrator rights so we can be the visiting user yeah we can create through um explore by deploying our own payload on the system it is the payload is just having the task of creating a user stage it is a payload that an attacker can use to upload a bigger file into a victim system like uh, bigger files it can be if you are a local privilege escalation if you are using then yeah we can do that stages stages are payload components that are downloaded by stages module the various payload stage provide advanced features with no size limits such as metapreter and vnc injection so what is a metapreter metapreter is an advanced dynamically extensible payload that uses in memory dll injection stages and is extended over the network at runtime it communicates over the stager socket and provides a comprehensive client-side Ruby API. It features command history, tab completion, channels, and many more. 
like uh, metadata also provides us an interactive way it provides a platform we can say so what is a msf venom it is a combination of msf payload and msf encode and is used to generate a payload so let us see some demo okay so in demo we'll be covering a of we would be exploiting a Windows machine with the use of HTS server and a Linux machine named Metasploitable. Okay, so let us have a look. Um, like where are the files of the Metasploitable Metasploit framework are we stored? So let us go on the user directory. This town, yeah. Um, okay, so we want to see the modules. So here are the modules auxiliary, encoders, vision exploits, noops, payloads, and post. There are six types of uh, modules present. Exploits, as we know that they are they are used for exploiting the uh, machine. Like if you have, have any vulnerability present in the machine, we can use the exploits to exploit the vulnerability. Payloads, as we uh, discussed earlier. So, Metasploit provides us the. Let us have a look at exploits. It provides us exploits for Android mainframe as i told it's um you will get each and every exploits present in the metasploit tool it's a framework and let's have a look at the payloads see uh, as i told singles single there are three types of payloads let us go on singles there are payload present for node.js python so there is the windows so let us start the metasploit framework we need to first start the msf database which provides us the space for working okay so some of the basic commands like use search then exploit run set allows there are the, these are the some basic commands we will be covering in our present demo so let us look for the hta server search hta underscore server so yeah we have got a path of a HTS server exploit. Let's just copy it. For using the for going through uh, going at a path, we need to ex uh, enter command use, paste the path, and to see the options provided by the exploit, we need to list show options. Okay, so here we have to enter our server host, server port is fixed, the URI path if we want to enter it. Okay, so let us um, look at the IP address of our serving machine, that's 172.20.10.7. So let us set the We need to write the name of the option we need to use same as it has been written 20 dot 
10.7 okay so and we need to set the uri path now let us see the changes as we have are made or not okay see yeah it has been done okay okay so let us run Okay, so we have, let us copy the link and go to the our Windows machine, paste it and press enter, yeah, allow the access, okay, so our metaverse session one has been opened. So let's wait for some time. So both the Linux machine uh, are Kali Linux and Windows should be in a bridge network connection. Is Okay, so let us try to execute a command. So send four. Okay, so let us open the sessions which was created by executing command dash i. Okay, yeah. Sys info. Okay, so we have successfully exploited the Windows machine by a hypertext attack, HTML attack. Yeah. Okay, so this is a way, basic way, which uh, which can help you to get into much more deeper as you go through it. So let us ex uh, now exploit. Um, Linux machine So to get um, to get out of the metaverse session we need to execute a command exit To go back to the MSF console page press enter back clear this um, Clear it. Okay, so now we need to Now I have a metasploit table. It's a Linux machine which is working and with the bridge network configuration in the Kali Linux with Kali Linux. Okay, so let us first scan the our um, okay. So we need to first know the IP address of the Metasploit table VM. Let us cover. Let us see. Okay, so we need to see the MAC address of the which would help us out to identify the IP address of the uh, machine. Okay, so the MAC address is C91. Let's go to the okay, yeah, it's first only. So we got the MAC address uh, IP address of the metasploitable VM is 172.20.10.7 uh, 10.4. Okay, so let us scan 172.ip address 10.4. Okay, so Nmap would be scanning all the TCP ports open present in the VM. So the ping scan is done. DNS resolution of one host. MS, okay, so we have discovered some ports open. So we have a bunch of ports open in the Metasploitable framework, sorry, VM. Mm -hmm. 
So I think it's 21 is 22 is for open SSH. Some of the ports opens may be similar to you as we have gone through, but some are on uh, another time. So this help us to meta. Uh, we are working on metasploit table framework only. We are not uh, opening the nmap. So this is the advantage of using metasploitable framework. You get you don't have to skip the tools for performing different tasks. Okay, so the nmap scan has got over. So we have discovered a bunch of uh, TCP ports open. Okay, so here is our first port 21 TCP also service providing file transfer. So let us check its version if it's present. And so let us open a new tab. MSF. MSF console. Let us start the console and having the scan here only on the right hand side. So it may be much easier for us to open both the ways. So there's uh, 22 DC SSH, 23 Telnet, SMTB. Okay. Apache server is on. It's, I think it's 1.2.8. Yeah, our local exploits are provided. available. NetPass, login. Yeah. Bind shell. Metasploitable root shell we can get. It's a MySQL server is running on it. So we can copy this and paste on the Google. We can get exploit or we can also search on Metasploit framework. Okay, so I can sound. So I just need to copy the. Okay, so let us search for the version we have. Oh. Okay, so there are four options available for us. Let us expand it so we can have a clear view of it. Okay, so let us go on the path of exploit backdoor. So let us see the options provided by the exploit. Okay, so we have uh, our host. We need to enter the host of our, of our machine. Okay, so let us enter our host 172.20.10.7 and set a payload. Set the payload of command. Linux and yeah, we have want an interactive show. Right. So let us see the changes uh, we made uh, have been done or not. Mm, yeah, send the payload has been set, the server host has been set. So let us exploit. Okay, so no session was created, and the connection was if you. Okay, sorry, my mistake. I had to enter the remote host. Okay, so we are the root. Nice. So this is a this is a simple way. Uh, another simple way for exploiting a Linux machine or Unix. You can simply exploit using. So here we have 
covered a bit part of information gathering then exploiting we have not done privilege escalation but yeah um, it depends on the version and the services which you get so hope you understand the metasploit framework thank you